Wow, has it been a crazy year thinking back over the last Earth Day. First off, we already knew about the pandemic at that point. We were already stuck in our houses, stuck in our apartments, stuck in our wherever. And I'm just looking back a year, looking back two years, and the thing that hits me is just how far we've come. There are announcements coming out that a year ago, two years ago, would have been the big announcement for, the, for, for six months. Think about Apple putting $200 million into carbon removal. That was last week. And, you know, it got some attention. But then this week is the $100 million X Prize. We are no longer in the formative stages of carbon removal. The field has taken off. The industry has taken flight. Day after day after day, there's incredible, big, breaking news in terms of in terms of carbon removal. We're going from the era of if carbon removal will happen, if carbon removal will be a big deal, and we are now in the era of how big will it be. Uh, because if you find yourself still wondering, you know, if carbon removal is going to happen, or if it'll be a big deal, we, we've kind of already figured that out. I mean, there's, there's Fortune 500 companies making big announcements. There's startup companies getting started, raising millions of dollars. There's world leaders and thinkers starting to talk about carbon removal and call for negative emissions. It is so not a question anymore of if, and it is a question of when and how big. Just think about two years ago when that Climeworks article was just published in the New York Times. That was the first time the world had heard about carbon removal. Is this going to be a thing? The world asks. Fast forward to today, Climeworks has raised most recently a $100 million round. Y Combinator has gone from announcing a request for startups in carbon removal to having an entire page, carbon.ycombinator.com, and making several investments in up-and-coming carbon removal companies like Noya Labs. The political world has gone from what is carbon removal to people like John Kerry, like you've heard that name, saying that we need negative emissions. That's incredible, right? And that was like a week ago, right? And it's already, it's okay, so already there's something new, you know, that, that has a bigger headline that's come along since then. And finally, the X Prize is announcing the $100 million carbon removal prize. So much, not if, but when, how big, when will we hit a gigaton per year removal? When will we hit 10 gigatons scale removal? Some people think it's in five years. Some people think it's in 40 years. So if you're feeling this momentum of, of when rather than if, I would love to hear your story. What is the evidence that, that you're seeing of, of things going from, from if to when? Uh, and if you're still on the sidelines, if you're, you're still wondering if, let me know. I'd love to hear kind of how you're, how you're thinking, how you're framing about it. And when you want to participate, we are hosting an air miners conference that is focused entirely around this, this shift. It's called the Taking Flight Conference. It's on May 5th, and it's all around this idea of what this industry looks like now that the wheels are up, we're in the air, carbon removal is taking flight. Last year was the Foundations Conference that's establishing kind of the runway, establishing the ground, and this year, things have grown so fast, it's a completely different era of carbon removal that we're entering. So, so come along and check out the Air Miners Carbon Removal Conference. We've got some other exciting things coming up uh, in the next couple days related to the, to the new X Prize.